So let's continue our discussion with SSH brute force rules. First of all, let's see what rules we have from previous IP tables, SSH brute force rules that we created. NFT least rule set, okay? See, for the chain input that we had in IP tables, in terms of SSH, we have a rule which says when the protocol is TCP, and destination port is 22, connection tracking a state is new. It means it's a new connection. And this is what we want to see. It says jump to SSH B force chain. Okay. All this rule does is passing the decision to this chain, SSH B force. So under SSH B force, we have nothing because our IP tables rules are commented out the translator could not understand and translate them or probably because it was under custom chain whatever the reason is it didn't do it so we have to take care of it ourselves when it comes to nf tables rules this article should be your friend there are a lot of information how you can get match for your rules and also in terms of what's relevant to this very lecture limiting the amount of connections there is a very good article from red hat and uh, i would refer you to this blocking ip addresses that attempt more than 10 new incoming tcp connections within one minute this is just a use case you can amend it how you want based on your own requirement this article has much more information in it let's get back to our rules and open our rules file sysconfig nf tables and yeah as you see here this is the rule that passes the decision to the sshp force chain and if we go down here we can add our new rules so add set ip filter deny list first things first we create a set set is a term in a data structure when it comes to data structure and computer science in data structure you see there are already suggestions what is a set a set data structure allows to add data to a container a set is a collection of objects or primitive types like basic types like strings numbers or booleans you know it's a collection of objects just go through it and read some articles about it if you want but just think of it as a collection of objects and here we create a set called deny list in the table filter if you remember we had two tables filters and nat so let's continue as you read here we we had like you can add you can think of it as a map where values are used as a map keys with the map value always being a boolean true so here we will have like a key value pairs and what we have to write in our rule are the keys and for these keys we will have some values that will get changed accordingly when the new connections are coming in some minutes you will see how it works and what this means like what is key what is value for now please just do what i do type ip before address okay this is one element then flags dynamic time out and time out five minutes and semicolon okay space and you uh, close the curly bracket we have defined five minutes time out for a potential ssh brute forcer the ip will be contained or will be banned for five minutes okay it's also good that we have a space here now we have to have a rule where the potentially brute forcers ip address or ip addresses will get added to the deny list set we say add rule this time is a rule ip table filter chain ssh brute force ip protocol is tcp connection tracking state is new we are just interested in new incoming connections and untracked 
limit rate over three times per minute you're like if per minute three times attempts happened put it in deny list what we are interested to put in our deny list ip source address okay and enter and here we we say what we want to do with those ip addresses rule ip filter ssh b force chain ip is address or source address in deny list drop and we exit please make sure that you don't have any typos let me make sure by doing like nft check space file under this directory and it says that there is a there is an error there and he's right because i have said you see it has identified the error position and this is actually fine but before that we have said uh, if the limit is over three times per minute and then what we should say add the ip address or source ip address into the deny list and the add is missing here like this save okay it's fine and now we can just restart our firewall service good let's try it exit and let's try it ssh os boxes at 10 10 41 control c two times and now it got caught and if we open the firewall now the console and say for example if we go with uh, nft list rule sets and pipe it to less under deny list you see we have a set here deny list and our ip address is inside that uh, list if we try with other machines they will also get listed and as you see there is a counter it is now four minutes and four seconds let's quit this and repeat it now it became three minutes this five minutes should get expired and then here we will be able to log in with ssh this is there to uh, slow down the brute forcers so please fix this also in the second firewall here and uh, with that we are done with frankfurt headquarter in the next lecture we will start with pfsense firewall cluster and equivalent rules there thanks for watching this lecture catch you in the next one bye